Hello there. So, today I'm going to explain the integration of textures and Yuma for the creation of overlays and base textures. Yuma Basic Shader requires three important textures to work properly. Diffuse Texture, a specular texture that also provides gloss information, and a normal map texture. Here you can see the textures we created on previous video, the cavity map, the diffuse texture, normal map texture, and two displacement maps, one with overall shape and one with fine detail. So I'm going to start with the diffuse texture. The first thing we need to do is to correct the aspect ratio of this texture. ZBrush generates square textures and for the head we need a 2048 for 1024 as the final resolution. So that's what I've done. And right now I'm just adjusting the, the rest of the diffuse texture so that we have a better result in different mid maps. So here I'm expanding the selection of this black area. And I'm going to fill using the content aware option so that we can have a better, better texture result in different mid maps. Uh, so you can see there is no more borders on this texture. So I'm going to save this one. Uh, here, let me see, let me create another folder for this. Uh, okay, here we go. So as I already have the second head, I'm going to name this one the third one. Okay, save it. Oh, also, uh, we, depending if we are using overlays or base textures, we also need to provide an alpha channel. For base textures, it's a full white alpha channel. And for overlays, this alpha channel defines the mask for the overlay. Okay, so normal map, I'm adjusting the uh, resolution uh, the same way as the diffuse channel. For normal maps, we usually don't need any extra adjust, only if you have any problem in some specific normal map areas. And uh, now we are going to work on the specular texture. Um, so for the specular texture, right now uh, the, the final specular and gloss data are compressed in two channels. So we really are not going to use for the basic shader uh, specular color, only specular value. So that's why I'm not going to worry about the color of the specular texture itself. So it's going to be grayscale. As I've uh, created extra textures in ZBrush, like cavit map, displacements, I'm using those as the some extra resource for generating the specular texture. So here I'm basically adjusting the those and trying to combine them in a way that they work together and generate an interesting specular. Especially for the specular texture, it's really important that you keep in mind that this and all other textures uh, requires to be combined with the body textures. So you, you really need to have a, a good transition between both of them. So the junction area of those two should uh, be considered when creating those textures so that you don't have any seam or hard transition. So uh, right now I'm going to do some adjusts on specific areas of the head. So in this case the mouth, 
I'm going to create an interesting result for a high specular and gloss area in the mouth. So here I'm I'm going to select this area so that I can bring a, a white color there. And uh, as I have the cavity and uh, also the displacement textures, I'm going to take advantage of those so that I, I can have an interesting volume variation uh, resulting on the final specular and gloss values for this area. So a bit more of adjusts here. Uh, okay. Um, so as you can see, I'm using grayscale as I've explained it for, for the specular uh, value. And uh, the gloss is the alpha channel of the of this specific texture. Other interesting thing uh, about the Yuma Basic Shader, uh, Johan, Johan from Unity team, uh, also known as the Unlogic at the Unity forum, created this Basic Shader, and we planned together that this Basic Shader was uh, meant to calculate the specular result in a different way from the standard shaders. So uh, Pedro Toledo, an amazing artist from BioWare, uh, posted on his website, on his blog, uh, Manufato, uh, a text concerning the, the materials. Its, its name is Brief Considerations About Materials. And uh, basically, in this text, uh, Pedro uh, separates the materials in two different categories, the dielectrics and conductors. So basically, uh, most materials like skin, plastic, clothes, the specular uh, color that, that we can actually see, is always closer to white and then conductor materials uh, usually metal we see a different uh, result the specular color is closer to the diffuse color itself so johan implemented two basic shaders one for the for most materials and one for a specific um, metal materials uh, so covering the dielectrics and the, the conductors. So we, instead of needing to worry with the specular color, the shader is handling the calculation for us. Here I'm uh, adjusting the final value of the specular uh, color. The, the same applies for the, the gloss. I'm, I'm sharing the same values for the gloss itself also for this specific example. Uh, as you can see, the gloss is uh, being applied on the alpha channel. So I will just save this one as the specular texture. And uh, that's it for now. In the next video, I'm going to show the integration of those files on Unity. Goodbye.